Hello there. We are continuing our training sessions and uh, still I will be using this uh, Lev Alberts uh, training pocketbook and we will go through uh, four puzzles like uh, we did before. Okay, so let's start with uh, puzzle number one. Okay, this is the position. It's uh, white to move. So please pause the video now and try to find uh, the best continuation for white in this position. Okay, so if you analyze this position, you'll see that the main feature of this position is that uh, this rook is under attack. So one way to avoid uh, this threat is to move the rook, and uh, the only variable square for rook is uh, rook h2. But you can see that, uh, well, uh, this is very passive square and very ugly square uh, for, for the rook. And uh, if you put your rook on h2, then uh, there are no future prospects uh, of, of this rook. You cannot see how in, in the future this rook uh, will be able to participate in the game. It's practically locked up and uh, put out of the play. So uh, this is why before you play such an ugly move, you have to look for all alter alternatives. So is there a way to, to save the rook? But not by moving the rook itself, but by making uh, uh, some other threat which will make uh, this uh, capture unfavorable for um, for black. So the solution to this puzzle is uh, queen to d4. And uh, now you can see that if black takes the rook, then you can see that uh, this loses to uh, rook to uh, g6, threatening an undefensible uh, checkmate on uh, g7. Because you can notice that, uh, well, th this pawn is pinned, it, it cannot be cannot be moved, so uh, this this would lose. So let's back, uh, let's get back to the position. So in this position, uh, when you have uh, the, this is the practical advice in your game. So when you have some piece attack, and the only way to defend the piece is by putting it a very ugly or very inactive square. Well, uh, try to look if there is any other uh, any other way to to save your piece other than removing it to to ugly square. And if you do this, then you can see that. Um, this threatens mating too, and uh, he cannot uh, capture because um, he has he has to deal uh, with this threat. And then after he deals with um, this threat, you can just uh, move away your rook, and you are a pawn up, and uh, you have a better and more active position. Okay, uh, let's go to the puzzle number two now. Okay, uh, this is the position. It's uh, white to move. So please uh, pause the video now and try to find uh, the best continuation for white in this position. Okay, so if you look at this uh, position, you can notice that there is uh, this possibility of the fork uh, on e6, forking the queen and the king. So, but the only problem is this pawn. So you have to think, can you remove this pawn in order to be able to fork? And then you start your calculation and you can see that indeed you can. So you can just uh, take, take the pawn. And now he cannot, of course, he cannot take with the king because it's protected. If he, if he takes with the rook, then you have this fork, winning the queen and the game. So the king uh, has to move here. So, for example, if king moves to uh, king to g8, then it's very simple. You can just, again, uh, check, the, check the king with uh, rook g7 check. Again, if he captures, you can just fork. Uh, if he moves, and this was played in the game, so he moved the king to h8, and now you can just uh, pick up the pawn with the check. He has to move uh, to move the king again. You can give the check again. He has to move, and then you can just pick up another pawn. And uh, well, now in, in this position, it's uh, practically uh, game over because uh, there, is, there is no way he can defend this. Uh, uh, this night uh, you are two pawns up uh, and it's uh, it's really a uh, game over for for black okay let's go through this uh, position once again because i, I think it's uh, it's very instructive to see it again so let's see okay so the main motive here is this fork on e6 and then you want to remove the, the defender and uh, just with a little calculation you can see that you can indeed uh, move the defender and uh, now in, in this position you can just uh, he, he cannot capture he cannot capture the rook because it will fork him and uh, you can just now swipe uh, all, all of his uh, pieces on the king side so check again he cannot take because he will be forked check there is only one legal move check again he cannot take because he will be forked 
and then you can pick up another port so you have, you have picked up uh, three pawns uh, at this this moment and also uh, this uh, knight is is uh, probably undefendable this was the position uh, let's go now to the puzzle number three okay this is the position it's a uh, white to move uh, please pause the video and try to find the bet best continuation for white here Okay, uh, this position is a classical smothered mate, mate position. So if you have seen this uh, smothered mate uh, pattern, you will be, uh, it will be very easy to find it. If you have never seen this, then I guess it, uh, it's not uh, so easy, but it, it's not so hard either. So you, you just need to look for forcing moves and uh, every move in this uh, sequence is a check. So if you don't know this pattern, it's uh, time to, to learn it. So knight of seven check. King g8, uh, the only legal move, and now knight h6, double check. So you're checking with your uh, queen and your knight. Whenever it's a double check, uh, that means that the king has to move. If the move, uh, if the king moves on f8, it's immediately checkmate. So uh, rook uh, has to move on uh, h8, and now you sacrifice the queen. Queen g8 check. Uh, he has to uh, capture with the rook because uh, the queen is protected. So he has to capture with the rook, and now the King is uh, smothered, and you just uh, deliver a checkmate uh, with a knight on f7. So this is a this is typical typical pattern. So let's just do it quickly once again in case you didn't see it before. So it's check, double check, sack the queen, and deliver mate. This is it. Okay, let's go to the puzzle number three now. Okay, so this is the position. Uh, please pause the video and see if you can find uh, the best continuation for white. Okay, so in analyzing this position, the first thing uh, you, you might notice is this uh, opportunity of the fork. So uh, to play just g5 uh, with a check and attacking the queen uh, simultaneously and uh, well now if, if the king moves you just pick up the queen and if the queen takes if it were not for the check, then uh, this would be um, a win. But unfortunately, this doesn't work because, like I said, it's a check. So after king, uh, after queen takes, you cannot deliver check because you are under check uh, yourself. And this is why this um, this nice nice pattern doesn't work in in this position. So you you have to find uh, some other way to, to deal with this position. Okay, so in looking uh, for another solution, you can notice that uh, the queen and the rook are aligned. That means that this knight uh, can deliver um, discovered discovered attack on the queen. And uh, if you think, for example, if you play knight e6, now discovering uh, the, the attack, then you can notice that queen cannot take uh, the rook, this rook is unprotected. And of course, by playing knight to e6, you are, you are threatening uh, Rook to h3, uh, which will soon be checkmate because g7 is covered by the knight. But if the queen uh, takes the rook, then queen, queen uh, g5 is a checkmate. So the queen cannot take the rook. So what else? If the queen takes the queen, well, then it's just uh, checkmate uh, very soon with uh, rook to uh, h3. Uh, the only way to block checkmate is uh, queen h5. And now a beautiful pattern g5 is a checkmate so this this is this is the key the key variation to see the, that you have this uh, g uh, g5 checkmate it's not very easy to spot very easy to see but it it can be done if calculated carefully so let's go back to the position and see it once again so the the whole uh, idea is that uh, you have uh, the opportunity of this discovered attack and also uh, by moving your knight you can cover this uh, g7 square because this g g7 square is the only flight square for the king. So by playing the knight to e6 you cover g7 g7 square and you pre you prepare for uh, for for the mating uh, mating attack here. Uh, the rook cannot be captured because uh, then uh, the queen will just deliver the checkmate on uh, g5. And also if the queen is captured then there is uh, this nice mating too. Check checkmate so this mating two pattern is uh, is important to, to know and to see in order to solve this combination 
Okay, uh, this is it for today. I hope you find this video useful and uh, not just, just uh, this video, but uh, my training sessions, uh, which will be, um, I hope, uh, frequently uploaded to my YouTube. Uh, so uh, please uh, you use these exercises because uh, you will see there are so many patterns and so many interesting positions if uh, if uh, you could be able to, to master them, to learn them, to understand them. I'm sure your chess would uh, improve greatly. And you also uh, practice your tactics, uh, you practice your visualization, and uh, by looking at uh, this uh, 3D, 3D board, you will uh, practice for, for uh, the real over the board uh, tournament, which I think is the soul of the chess. Thank you very much for watching, and see you very soon with more chess. Cheers.